Hi kids, how are you? I hope that you are just fine through God's grace. This is Teacher PJ and I will be your guide to learning a new lesson for the Technology and Livelihood Education 6. In Module 6, you have studied the principles of 5 S's. This is to manage our waste and optimize productivity. Do you still remember the 5 S's? The first one is sort, then set in order, shine, standardize, and the last is sustain. In this lesson, you're going to learn the recycling process, explain the importance of recycling, and recycle waste materials. Look at this video. Would you like to live in a place like this? Nobody wants to. That's why our government is advocating to manage our waste well. There are three R's of waste management. Do you still remember them? They are the reduce, reuse, and the third one is, you're right, recycle. Reducing means minimizing of manufacturing, consumption, and throwing away of products. Reuse, on the other hand, means using same product multiple times for same or different purpose. Now, recycling means creating a new product from waste. Wastes like used baby diapers, dried leaves, chemical wastes, and many more cannot be recycled. Glass bottles, plastic products, scrap metals, and paper products, however, can be recycled. Sometimes, rubber and wood also gets recycled. So why do we have to recycle our waste? Could we just throw them away? It's time for us to talk about the importance of recycling. One importance of recycling is that it reduces the amount of waste sent to landfills and incinerators. If you don't do recycling, landfills would rapidly fill up until they cover the entire planet. Incinerators would also burn much, causing pollution. Another is that it conserves natural resources such as timber, water, and minerals. Manufacturing of goods require raw materials to process. If you don't do recycling, these raw materials would rapidly be depleted. Mining would destroy lots of resources, leaving our environment heavily devastated. Another benefit is that it increases economic security by topping a domestic resource of materials. Our country would not waste its money buying lots of raw materials from other countries because manufacturing companies use recyclable materials, minimizing the need for new raw materials. Another is that it prevents pollution by reducing the need to collect new raw materials. Mining and producing new raw materials like gold, metal ores, etc. produces pollution and destruction to the environment. Recycling can minimize its harmful effects. Another benefit is that it saves energy. Producing raw materials for the manufacturing industry requires a lot of energy in the form of electricity, petrol-based fuels, and manpower. Using recycled materials minimizes, if not, omits the use of these energy sources. Another is that it supports manufacturing and conserves valuable resources. Recycling provides materials for the manufacturing industry to create a new product, thereby making the use of our natural resources efficiently. Another benefit is that it helps create jobs in the recycling and manufacturing industries. The whole process of recycling requires people to work. They get salaries and incomes in return, which in turn feed their families. You see, recycling is a good thing to do. So how do we recycle? To understand recycling better, we have to discuss about the process of recycling. But before we go there, let us check if you have been learning so far. Let's answer the following exercise. Write the letter of the correct answer. You have 5 seconds to answer each question. What is recycling? A. It's the process of minimizing the consumption of products. B. It is the process of making a new product from waste materials. And C. It is the act of using a product multiple times. And the answer is B. Number two, why should you recycle waste products? A. It saves the environment and natural resources. B. 
it adds more time segregating waste. And C, it makes people happier. The answer is A. Number 3. Your household waste consists of paper, glass bottles, plastic bottles, used baby diapers, and used sardine cans. Which of those is not recyclable? A. Baby diapers B. Plastic bottles and C. Paper The correct answer is Baby diapers Number 4. How does recycling conserve our natural resources? A. It minimizes the mining of coal, metal ores, gold, and other natural minerals B. It gives jobs to jobless individuals and C. It helps minimize pollution. The correct answer is A. Number 5. Why is recycling so rewarding to most people? A. It gives them money through salaries and incomes. B. It helps them find new friends. And C. It makes their environment cleaner. The correct answer is A. Alright, how much did you get? Did you get all? Congratulations! You are now ready to learn about the process of recycling. Recycling has many steps. However, those steps can be summarized into three major steps. The first one is collection and processing. The second one is manufacturing and the third one is selling and buying. Here's how the recycling process works. Let's start with the collection and processing. In this step, wastes from homes, factories, business establishments, and other institutions are segregated into recyclables and non-recyclables. The non-recyclables go to the landfills. The recyclables, however, are going to be sorted in two different kinds. They are then collected through the school MRF, barangay MRF, and municipal city MRF. MRF stands for Material Recovery Facility. In this community, this school are using this material recovery facility to collect the waste materials for segregation, to repair, to reuse, and to recycle. Now, apart from the MRF, there are also roaming recyclable material buyers who directly buy recyclable materials from households. They are then transported to junk shops and processing plants for processing. In the processing plants or facilities, the recyclable materials are then cleaned, sorted, and processed to prepare them for their target manufacturing plants. Paper, glass bottles, plastics, electronic wastes, metal scraps will then be sold to separate plants. Pag oras tayo amin, ubing, ada kami iti dahi ito may isang lugar o may isang pasat iti junk shop at makatungtong tayo iti manager nga mismo na nyo dahi iti aramay doon na kadag ito yung mas basura. Kaya ito nga introduce ka niya yung tinagwapo, kinagagat niya uncle, uh, uh, the owner of uh, this junk shop. Uncle, introduce your name. Uh, siya si may isang taga Kalapogan, ag nanatak ito ay Kalapogan, siya ni Virgilio Tingli. Uncle, nandiyan tayo aramay doon yung kadag iti basura. Dahi ito ay basura. Uh, Ornusan nga nasayat sa Bali Jilata, sa Bali Jibuti. At nun nasa pindas mat lang, hindi pa nakabuyo na. At no, bilang, uh, e, lapon to, i-jajang siya. Ay katamudan to, nun niya, uh, na niya na klasi-klasi, iti tsura na, nulata, plastic, wino, buti. Kada giting na basura, ang kalada ka dito kwarta tayo? Ay, adamat. So, nagdi may panggap ni lata, adamat ti presyo na. Sa Bali Jibuti presyo, iti buti. Adamat iti bakal sa Bali Jibuti presyo. Diyaman kami una ang kalit, oras yung ngayon tayo kata kami. Pero ubing, nakita yun, no, yung importan siya na dagiti basura. Dagiti basura, mabaling yung pagkwartaan, kaya mabaling tayong matlaang uh, usaran. Manufacturing After the materials are sold to the manufacturing plants, these are then used by these plants to create new product. For example, metal is used to create rebar as a building material. Aluminum cans are used to produce aluminum sheets which in turn are used to create cars. Here are other examples of products created from recyclable materials.
selling and buying. Now that the new products are created from recyclable materials, it's now time to get them available on the market where individual and corporate buyers purchase the, these goods. The products made from recyclable items would then reach our households, workplaces, or schools where they would be utilized. They'll be soon again end up in the garbage bin. Hence, the recycling process again restarts. Do you now see how important recycling is? What you have learned so far is an example of recycling in its larger scale. But you can also do recycling from the comforts of your home. Let us visit Sir June and let's learn how to make a charcoal paper made from recycled papers. Warning! Exercise extreme precaution. This activity uses water which may cause drowning to smaller children. Using flame to test the product may cause burning and fire. Ask an adult for assistance and supervision before attempting to do this activity. Okay children, are you ready? I am ready. Now, let's have fun today. And how are we going to make a charcoal paper like this? Here are the steps in making charcoal paper. First, prepare all the needed materials such as, of course, the paper or scratch papers, basin, bucket of water. Then, let us fill up the basin with water. Second step, let us put the paper or soak the paper under the water. Okay, I'm going to present to you this uh, soft uh, paper, which is or which are uh, soft for a couple of hours. Now, if you observe, this is very soft or mushy. It does squeeze them and tear them into to smaller sizes. After that, we are going to form a fist sized ball. Okay, so after making uh, this uh, fist uh, ball sizes, so let us going to put it here. Lastly, let us dry this for two to three days. This is now the finished product of uh, how to make a charcoal uh, paper. And it is now ready for burning and using for barbecue. Uh, yummy! <laughs> <laughs> right! So now you know how to recycle paper by making charcoal paper. Now it's your turn. You're going to make a decorative flower made from plastic bottles. Warning! Exercise extreme precaution. This activity involves the use of electricity, pointed objects, and chemicals. You should not do this activity without the adult supervision. Safety first. Please take note with the following grading guidelines for your output. Congratulations! You just made a decorative flower from recycled plastics. Now it's time for you to take a picture of it and send it to your teacher for grading. Now let us summarize what we have learned. Recycling is a process of converting waste products into new products. Recycling can be done at home or at factories. Recycling can be provide jobs to the jobless, conserves the natural resources, and keeps the world we live in cleaner by slowing down the filling up landfills. The recycling process has three major steps, collection and processing of segregated waste, manufacturing, and selling and buying. 
all of which are mechanisms for profit and environmental conservation. All right, so I think you're now ready for a quiz. Are you ready? Let's start. Draw a check mark if the item is recyclable. If not, draw an X instead. Let's start. Here are the answers. Magazine, check. Glass bottles, check. Steel can, check. Newspaper, check. Car batteries, check. Plastic bottles, check. Ink cartridges, check. Used sanitary napkins, no. Banana peelings, no. Used oil, check. And that's the end of our quiz. How many did you get? If you get 9 and 10, well, excellent. If you get 7 and 6, then it's fair. If you got 0 to 6, you have to repeat the whole lesson. And we have reached the end of the lesson. This has been Sir PJ saying that life is better with technology and livelihood education. Stay at home, obey your parents, trust God. God bless you. Bye!